Um, there was a question, which is, are there plans to be able to raise the current limit on numbers of references you can export? Um, I think it's currently limited to 5,000 uh, on the web. Uh, just trying to read the end of the question. I don't run many searches that are this big, but it would be helpful. This would this would be possible when necessary. Um, the the reason for uh, restricting the export is that um, it uses a lot of um, processor time and ties up the database, particularly if it's exporting. Uh, actually, let me just put the export screen on so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, particularly if you're exporting. Okay, so to export, for those of you who haven't already done it, um, you choose either a set of search results or, or a folder with some records in it. I've got 13, uh, 1,300 records in this folder. Uh, so I've clicked on that and it's shown me the records here. To export, you just click on export uh, and that'll pull out uh, an export tab where you tell, um, you tell the system what it is that you want to export. Um, the simple export is, is reasonably straightforward. So to export as, uh, as a RISP, um, you would just enter a file name. Uh, you can tell it to include attachments or not. And you can tell it to export as a single file, as separate files, or as an email link. And these are the ones where we, we, we need to be a bit careful about processor um, usage. So the single file with no attachments uh, as formatted as RIS, RIS that, that's the standard export that, that you would expect to see. Um, you, can, you can change that to Revman format, so you can, you can export as, as Revman format or as CSV format, uh, and you will be able to create your own custom filters, but that's not implemented yet. Um, so that's straightforward. There really shouldn't be that much of a problem uh, in, in converting that to allow more references. The real problem is the amount of time that you have to wait for it to download. So um, the way to get around that, I think, is, uh, is to use the uh, email link option. And what that does, instead of downloading a file, is it generates the file, and then uh, it emails a link to whoever you tell, to whoever you, whoever you fill in in these boxes. Um, and then uh, once that files generated, uh, they, the email gets sent, they get the link, they can click the link and download it onto their machine. And I think that that works uh, really well. Most people seem to use that if they're passing records to somebody else. Uh, you can put multiple emails in there so you can send it to yourself as well. Um, the, the, the big problem arises where um, we have groups who, uh, who want to export studies and all of their references and all of the PDFs that they've got attached to them. Um, and that's, uh, that's actually a really useful thing to do because it means if, if you are working at the study level, uh, you can find a series of studies, uh, you can tell it to export all of the references for those studies and all of the PDFs into a directory structure that gets zipped up and then uh, sent off to whoever you're sending it to. Uh, and uh, that can actually take a very long time. So at, at the moment, uh, we've got a there's, a, there's just shy of 100,000 um, PDF attachments being attached to records within CRSD. Uh, and so, uh, quite, quite, a, quite a lot of those fall into, into maybe five or six, no, maybe more, maybe, maybe 10 groups who use it, who use it quite extensively. Um, so exporting a large set of those can take quite a long time. Uh, the, the intention, sorry, I mean, this is a long-winded answer to the question, um, the, the, in, the intention is that that 5,000 limit uh, will, will not be there indefinitely, um, but um, we just need to make sure that we have the, the, the robust mechanisms in place to make sure it doesn't tie up the system to stop other people, uh, and stop other people doing what they're doing. So uh, the answer is at the moment there is a limit, um, but in going forward there won't be.